Hello again, Booktube. It's Roz, and I'm going to do my August TBR because it's nearly the end of July. I'm away at the very end of July, so I've, I've got to get this in recorded a little bit early. Now, this is going to be a shorter TBR video than usual because August is, is the TBR of uncertainty for me. Why? Why? Because I've got some definite plans, but I've also got two really big random factors that are going to um, shape my reading in August. One of those is that I'm, I've am i offered to be and hope to be chosen as Booktube Prize judge um, for the fiction group. If I am, I'll have anything up to six um, books to read in August and September for that. Now, I don't want to leave them all to September because September is shorty September. Do you take part in that? Oh, it's such fun. It's a, a, a readathon that's about just reading lots of short books, you know, less than 200 pages, maybe, maybe you know, novellas. And I love it. It's hosted by Bert of um, Pastory Time and um, Heather, the soggy expat book nerd. I'll link to their announcements below. So that's one random factor. And random factor number two is that I'm involved in the Women's World Cup readathon. I'm one of the hosts, along with um, Alice of Her Giant Bookshelf and Mark of Bookshelf with Elvis and Jack the Rambling Raconteur. And there's 70 or more people taking part. It's great fun. It's not too late maybe to join us, you know, if you're, if you're prepared to catch up fast. Um, but the way it works is um, that you, 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 you have a team and you read a book by an author from that country. And then depending on how well your team does, you may or may not have to read it like an un, uncertain number not of, of, of other books or short stories or poems or whatever. But, uh, you know, that it, I don't yet know who it is I'm going to have to read other than, you know, my starting team, which was Portugal, which I'm doing in July. So those are both uncertain. But what 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 definites do I have in mind? Because I do have some. Number one for me is that I'm one of the co-hosts of Faulkner in August and we're reading Absalom Absalom this year. And I'll, I've done an announcement video for that, um, which I'll post probably before this one. So I'll link to it below. And do think about joining us for Absalom Absalom. Now, one certainty I think about the Women's World Cup readathon is that the USA team they're in my initial group and they're the strongest one of the strongest teams in the competition so I know I'm going to have to read an American book at some point in the competition probably sooner rather than later and you know fortunately I've got Absalom Absalom lined up but I am trying to where I can read something by women a woman writer as it's the Women's, woman, <laughs> women's World Cup so Fortunately, I already had a plan to read Demon Copperhead by Barbara Kingsolver, along with um, commenter extraordinaire Stephanie Cohen and Priscilla of The Evening Reader. So that's um, that's American reading, definitely all sewn up. Now, it happens also, August, to be Women in Translation Month, and I always like to read some things um, to, to, to fit with, um, with that wonderful event that's you know way beyond booktube that's why lindy lindy's my pie reads and i have had planned ahead to read tomb of sand by um jean tanjali shri i'm translated by daisy rockwell in august so a bit of a fat one but i'm really looking really looking forward to this it won the um international book prize in 2022 and i've been meaning to read it ever since then I'm going to actually get to, I'm determined, A Spare Life by Lydia uh, Dim Dimskovska, um, translated by Christina Kramer. Good thing about both of these for Women Translation Month is they're by a woman and translated by a woman. So, you know, perfect. Um, my sort of third Women Translation Month choice is, um, I don't have to wave at you because it's on the Kindle, and that's The City Where Dreams Come True by Gulsifat Shahidi. I don't know the name of the translator. It's a, it's a, like a group, the Altima group. So who knows? It's a bit worrying as to how that will be because, you know, I know both these are good translators. Anyway, we shall see. But this one I particularly picked because it's a new country for me. So that um, takes me somewhere else in my, my scally dandle around the world in, in it through, through books. And this one is North Macedonia. And the um, the 
the the book by Shahidi, she's uh, an author from Tajikistan. So that's another new country for me. By the time I've read those two, I'll be down to 15 countries to go. So exciting. Gets harder and harder, though. My final definite plan for, for August is this one. Afterlives by Abdul Razak Gurna. Um, he won the Nobel Prize in 2021 for the Nobel Prize for Literature. I'm buddy reading this with Sean of uh, Sean the Book Maniac and Tilly, um, my daughter, um, who's Tilly Shelf has got a, a new lease of life on BookTube. She's um she's back in the country and 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 back reading and talking about books. So um uh and we will do something together um on on this one um it's it's uh i will start it in july because it kind of fits with the um book two book war um readathon but i won't finish it until august i know so there's two uh oh i'm pretty sure so that's my august plans as you say you, as you can see relatively limited although some of these are a bit chunky and you know faulkner always keeps you busy doesn't he so um so it's maybe it's lucky that i don't have loads more but but there will be as i say potentially <gasps> some random other things which which you'll hear about when i do a wrap up at the end of august so have you got some good july reading plans what what, what are you reading some things for women in translation month if you've got some recommendations i may just do uh if i can a women in Tran translation month sort of recommendations video would that be good if i did that of you know other things that i've read you know and loved in the past there we go <laughs> 